his comment on the verse that I cited, Malachi verse two, uh, chapter 2, verse 16, when God said, For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. Question is, if God himself hates divorce, how can one of us, one of his creation, sponsor divorce? There was no specific statement made by the sponsor, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, again, he cited that divorce, uh, that, that uh, annulment is very costly and a very long process. So why, why would you exclude, why would you make a special and fast lane to some marriages which perceive the relationship to be in tatters. And you do not offer explanation to the rest and to all those who survived and made sure that their marriage will continue. Bakit po palaging special na lang ang treatment? Ba't kinakailangang maging mabilis para sa kanila? At hindi masyadong magastos. Bakit sa iba po nating mga nag-survive o maaring tumuloy sa either legal separation or annulment? Magastos po yun. But that is the law. Bakit bibigyan po natin ngayon ng special attention, a fast lane to these marriages Unfortunate they may be, but I think they do not have a special place in the legislation that should be general in scope. Mr. Speaker, you don't know. And to the challenge, paano po kung may bibigay ko sa inyo yung verse, Mr. Speaker, you don't know na sinasabi na malaya lamang ang isang nag-asawa at mapuputol lamang yung band of marriage kapag patay na ang isa sa kanila. What if I am able to show you a particular biblical phrase? Will you withdraw your sponsorship, Mr. Speaker? Show it now. What is the answer, Mr. Speaker? Please show it now. If you are accepting the challenge, could you tell us where in the Bible this phrase till death do us part appears? Well, anyway, uh, Mr. Speaker, when we say till death do us part, death here could be the physical cessation of life. But that also can be metaphorical. It could be the cessation of love, respect, and tolerance. That is why marriages which uh, have perfected these qualities of love and respect and tolerance can be the subject of divorce in all of the countries in the world except the Philippines and the Vatican, Mr. Speaker. Let's go back to the challenge, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Will the sponsor, Mr. Speaker, be gracious enough uh, to give me a little time because wala po palang internet dito sa loob kasi po yung aking notes nandun sa aking planner nandun sa opisina ko, pakukuha ko lang sana 
But if the sponsor will agree that if I am not able to bring to him today the particular verse in the Bible, I withdraw all my interpolation. Otherwise, if I am able to give him the complete verse in the Bible, he will withdraw his sponsorship, Mr. Speaker. I will never withdraw my sponsorship. And I am certain the distinguished gentleman cannot show any place in the Bible quoting till death do us part. On the but strength if, of my own. But, uh, but if the gentleman cannot show this, then most probably he should vote for the bill. I want to make sure, Mr. Speaker, nandun po sa planner ko kasi sinukulat ko na po kaninang umaga eh. I want to make sure, ayoko pong magkamali. Kaya kung papayag po kayo, magkaibigan naman po tayo eh. Bigyan nyo lang po ako ng ilang uh, minuto para makuha ko po yung aking yes, plano. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, he can get that. It should not be counted against my time. So, kailan ko po pwedeng ibigay sa inyo? Eh, nasaan po yung planner ninyo? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, may I... Uh, Terminate my interpolation for a while until I was able to get my planner. Yes, of course, uh, Majority. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Sponsor. I believe uh, Honorable Marcoletta was recognized earlier. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I apologize for the delay. Fortunately, I was able to retrieve the, uh, the verse that I have cited. Mr. Speaker, I'm citing 1 Corinthians Chapter 7, verse 39, which reads, and I quote, A woman is obligated to stay in her marriage as long as her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free to marry whomever she wants. Only it should be believer in the Lord. So till death do us part talaga. Kailangan mamatay po yung isa para lang makapag-asawa ka pa ng iba. Salamat po, Mr. Speaker. And I think my good friend is honorable enough to accept the challenge. I accepted the challenge, and I think it is for him to withdraw his sponsorship. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what the distinguished uh, interpreter quoted is not the praise till death do us part. In fact, what he said was only with respect to the woman, not to the husband. It is here that when the husband dies, the woman can remarry. But it would be better if she does not remarry. That is completely different from till death does part, which is addressed to both the husband and the wife. But as I've said, death here could be physical cessation of life or a metaphor that love, respect, and tolerance in the marriage had already ceased. And there is no way of reconciling these spouses. I am ready to answer the next question, if any. Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker. Well, yes, uh, Honorable Marcoletta, please proceed. Mr. Speaker, I did not know that my good friend, the sponsor, is after the exact word, till death do us part. But it was only a matter of romanticizing it, Mr. Speaker. The couple are before, or is before, the solemnizing priest or anyone who is in a position to celebrate the marriage. So until death do us part is to romanticize the impending relationship. But the biblical anchor is the same, Mr. Speaker. I hope my good friend could comprehend the simple import of this particular biblical passage. It is still till death do us part. Kahit balibalik tarin mo ito, Mr. Speaker. It cannot be interpreted in another way. 
I rest my, my case, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much.